This is Mrs. O'Neill for Chapter 9, Section 4, Writing Acids. You will need that periodic table of ions that's in the back of your packet. So pause the video, read as you write, and then play to hear my words. So when we're dealing with acids, acids are always going to start with the element hydrogen, and that's going to be H plus 1. Always, always, always with an acid. Hopefully you paused and you read this information. Now, it might not make too much sense yet, but it will when we do the example problems. So the first part of an acid is always going to be hydrogen. Now, we need to focus on the anion, second part of the name, in order to know if we have to crisscross our numbers. So let's look at that second part of the acid name. Well, it could be one of two things. It's going to be a non-metal or it's going to be a polyatomic ion. But the name is going to be different than what you're used to seeing. So if the acid name is hydro root of a non-metal ic acid, it came from one element. If the ending is ic or us, that means it came from a polyatomic ion. So the ic acid is going to come from a polyatomic ion that ends in 8 and an us acid is going to come from a polyatomic ion that ends in it. So again, I know it's not making too much sense yet, but it will as we go through the examples. So I believe I do have two actual example boxes because these are a little bit trickier. So I wanted to give you a little bit more examples than just a couple like we did uh, in the previous videos. So my strong suggestion would be to listen to the entire chart and then pause and write things in. Okay, and I also want to bring to your attention up here on the top right hand corner, again I have a reminder of if it, it, if the name is hydro, the root of an element, ic acid, it's going to come from one element. If it only ends in ic, that means it came from an eight polyatomic ion. And if it ends in us, it came from an eight polyatomic ion. All right, so here we go. Hydrochloric acid. First part is always going to be H plus one. Always, 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 always. So now we need to focus on the name. In this case, we're focusing on hydro, the root of that element, and then ic. Hmm. Well, if I go up here, that means it must have came from one element. The anion, the second part, came from one element. All right. Now I got to look at that root. Chlor, hmm, that reminds me of chlorine. So now I'm going to look on my ion periodic table chart and I'm going to say, hmm, chlorine is Cl with a negative one charge. Now, hopefully this brings back memories, but now it's going to be like dealing with an ionic compound. I have plus one and I have negative one. Now I'm going to focus on those charge numbers. If those charge numbers are the same, they just go away. One and one I see, so they just go away and now I can just rewrite the parts, H and Cl. Hopefully that kind of makes sense. Let's go on to the next guy. This name acid is chloric acid. So again, the first part is H plus one no matter what. I'm gonna focus on the name of ic. Okay, going up here to my little cheat sheet. If it just ends in ic, that means it came from an eight polyatomic ion. So again, chlor eight. Mm -hmm. So chlor eight, if I look at my ion sheet, I'm looking at the top part where those polyatomic ions are, and I find chlor eight to be ClO3 negative one charge. Now I'm going to handle this like an ionic compound. I'm going to look at those charge numbers. In this case, they're same, so I'm just going to rewrite those parts. All right, one more time here. Chlor us. Again, the first part, no matter what, since it says acid here, I know it starts with H plus one. I'm gonna focus on the us, okay? I'm gonna come up here and go, oh, us came from an it polyatomic ion. So what polyatomic ion did it come from? Well, chlorite. So if I look at my ion sheet, chlorite is ClO2, negative one charge. 
Now, like an ionic compound, I'm going to focus on those numbers one and one and just rewrite those parts. So at this point, guys, again, pause the video, fill in your chart, and you might want to do what I did, either use different colors or maybe a circle and a square, so you're kind of focused on the different things that I point out to you. All right, so hopefully that kind of makes sense. Let's do some more examples. This time I'm giving you a couple more examples before you actually have to do the practice problems. All right, so here we go. Hydrosulfuric acid. First part, since it says acid, I know is H plus one. What am I going to focus on? Hmm, the name, hydro and ic. So it's a hydro, some kind of root to an element, and then ic. So the anion that it came from must be one element. Again, I'm looking up here on my cheat sheet, hydro root ic, acid means that it came from one element. So now let's focus on the root. Sulfu ooh, sul fur, so that would probably come from sulfur. So if I look at my ion sheet, sulfur is S with a negative two charge. So now I'm gonna treat this like an ionic compound. I'm gonna look at those charge numbers. I have a one and I have a two. Uh-oh, this time those charge numbers are different. So what do we do with charge numbers that are different? Crisscross them. So it's gonna be H2S. This is a little side note. Since hydrogen is plus one, you're never going to have more than one of your second part, right? You might have more than one hydrogens, atoms, but you're never going to have more than one of the anion part, whether it's just one element or one of the polyatomic ions. All right, let's go on to the second guy, sulfuric acid. Acid tells me that it's H plus one. I'm going to focus on the name of ic. So focus on that. What anion did it come from? Again, I'm going to look at my cheat sheet. Ic came from eight polyatomic ion. Okay, so sulfurate. Oh, sulfate. Sulfurate, yes, sulfate, right? That should make sense, sulfate. So I'm going to look at my ion sheet and I'm going to look at sulfate and that's SO4 negative two. So again, just like an ionic compound, focus on the one and the two. Those charge numbers are different, so I'm going to crisscross them and then write the parts, H2SO4. All right, last example, sulfur us, acid. Since it says acid, I'm going to start with H plus one. I'm going to focus on the name of us. I'm going to look at my cheat sheet up here. Us is really an ite polyatomic ion, so that's the anion it's coming from. So again, sulfur, I, oh, sulfite. So if I look at my ion sheet on the very top where it has all of those polyatomic ions on it, it's going to be SO3 with a negative 2 charge. Now, just like an ionic compound, I'm going to look at that 1, I'm going to look at that 2. They are different, so I'm going to crisscross them and make H2SO3. So at this point, pause the video. Again, write in all that information and make sure you're circling or highlighting or squaring or diamonding, whatever you need to do to make sure you're understanding what parts you're looking for where. All right, so hopefully it's kind of making sense. So can you, again, maybe you want to do one or two and then check your answers and then do three and four and so on and so forth. So hopefully you've at least tried one or two. So number one, I'm going to look at those ion parts. And the ion parts, again, all acids are going to start with H plus one. I'm going to focus on the ic. So carbonic really probably came from carbonate. Ooh, carbonate is CO3 negative two. And now I'm going to look at those charge numbers and crisscross them. Phosphorus acid, again, acid means that I'm starting with H plus. The us. Phosphorus probably came from phosphite, and phosphite on my ion is PO3 with a negative three charge. Again, my charge numbers are different, so I'm going to crisscross them. Hydrobromic 
acid. Acid means I'm starting with H+. Hydroic means I'm going to focus on that root of brome, and brome probably came from bromine, and bromine is Br negative 1. So again, I'm going to focus on those charged numbers. In this case, they're the same, so they just go away. So acetic acid, hmm, probably starts with H plus 1. Notice a pattern there. And acetic probably came from, hmm, acetate. Hmm, acid, right? Ick came from acetate, polyatomic ion. So I'm going to look and find that guy. And if you used the other formula, it's okay too, the CH3COO. It's up to you which one you want to use. So again, I see two ones, so they just cancel out, and I'm squishing those two parts together. All right, can you do five through eight? So hopefully you paused, hopefully you came up with the ion parts and the chemical formula. So again, just going to bring some things to your attention. I'm going to focus on the ick here and come up with those ion parts and that chemical formula. For number six, I'm going to focus on the hydro and the ick. So that tells me it came from one element. In that case, it's going to be nitrogen. And nitrogen by itself has a negative three charge. So that I'm going to crisscross. Nitric came from nitrate polyatomic ion. That's the formula there. And nitrous came from nitrite polyatomic ion. And again, those ones are going to cancel themselves out, and I'm just going to squish those two things together. So hopefully that's starting to make sense. All right, we will see you in class, and the next part obviously will be now uh, writing the names of these acids.